A few days ago, I was trawling through the internet and I found what I thought was potentially too good to be true. A brand new Scotty Cameron Special Select putter for £59 from Wish.com. And the video went down really well. So much so, you guys said you wanted a direct comparison with the £350 actual Scotty Cameron Special Select from NotWish.com. So um, let's do it. And let's do it now. riddance hi everyone james robinson here guys first things first i'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel i'd like to welcome you back to the channel if you're not new to the channel but guys if you are new to this youtube channel please take two seconds to hit that's definitely not going to hold me please take two seconds to hit that subscribe button below and you won't miss the daily golf related content that i bring to you guys so scotty cameron putters um guys you can probably already tell which one's which just by putting a few real quick shots of these putters on there and um i mean the big thing that really gives it away is um you know the old adage you get what you pay for um yeah that's how this got delivered if you've not seen the video i will link the original video below but i've never seen a scotty cameron be delivered like that so um but 59 quid was it a waste of money? I think it potentially was. Guys, get in the comments below and let me know what do you think to these kind of golf clubs? Is it... Oh, that's not even... See, now that's an issue. I've taken it off and put it back on and now the grip's not level to the, the face. So um, this is going to be an interesting test. And you see, guys, I hear what you're all saying because it's not just about the looks of a Scotty Cameron putter. It's not just about is it authentic? Is it not authentic? Is it fake? Um, I mean, head cover wise, as I'd like to tell you, they've done a very good job, but um, it's not even the same colour. Um, so, yeah, well, that's all I'll say on the head covers. Um, and you see, I did want to do this in the initial video, test it and compare it against my actual Scotty Cameron Newport 2, which is exactly what this putter is supposed to be. Um, but I wanted to have some fun with it. I wanted to show you guys exactly what you get for that amount of money and it's not good. Then you guys said, James, please compare it against your actual Scotty Cameron because I want to see just how good it is. So here we are. And we're on the 18th green here at Huddersfield Golf Club and it is one of the more difficult greens to put on, definitely one of the more difficult greens to read. And we're gonna test it with five golf balls, five golf balls with a couple of different scenarios and try and do it fairly and see just how much better or worse I perform with an actual product rather than the wish.com special first put of the day go on then oh and you see i guess the real annoying thing is just how much of a bad copy it is it's not even a good copy looking down at it it looks nothing like that was a pull this is the this is the actual one as well this isn't the fake Oh, baby, we've got one. And you see a lot of people will be in the comments saying you're rubbish at putting anyway. You shouldn't be testing these putters if you hit that one. Ah. A lot of people will be in the comments saying you're rubbish at putting anyway. Why are you even bothering testing these? You've only made one out of five there. But from 15 feet, the make percentage with this amount of break on it, actually, that's not too bad. Right, let's go oh, Rotty Tamron. I think that's what I christened it in the video. Um, yeah, I know. I know. So this is almost a little bit of a warm-up test. Then we're going to do a distance test, a pace control test. And I mean that. Not only is it bent, but now I can't get it to be straight. Because it, it moves. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm going to play it. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Shall I play it with a square grip? Because then, the, no. I'm going to have to try and manipulate myself to play it kind of as... Didn't feel too bad, actually. You see, the issue now is that as you look down at this, as I've said with the grip, not only is the shaft bent, the grip's on at about 20 degrees. And we'll get into the milling and the head design very quickly. Go on, then. Right, I'm going to try and make some of these. Come on. Got to. All day. Oh. And 
Does it make it a better putter, guys, if I hole a couple of these? Got to hold its line. There's one. So we've already made the same as with the actual 350 quid putter. That's another one. Got to be. Obviously, I now, ooh, I now know the line a lot better on this putt, so I understand that's not a fair test. Let's have a look at a distance control test and let's see just how... Oh, I'm going to cut my finger off then. And let's see just how much these differences in milling make with distance control. I'm not sure we can call that milling. I think that's just been, yeah, not great. So as you can see, we've got a 40 foot downhill sliding putt. We're going to go with the Rotty Tamarin to start with, or the, I don't even know what, I mean, what is that? If I held the grip square, that's what the face looks like. So yeah, anyway, anyway. And I guess it's not so much the price of this, it's not so much that I bought it off Wish.com, I bought it off the internet. It's that it says not only that on it, but that on it. Because that is one of the biggest golf corporations in the world, and that is a person who prides himself in his work, and I know he does, because I've seen how he speaks to his staff and how he speaks to the Scotty Cameron experts. Right. We have got a club just long here, so for me, my miss zone... That could go in. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, that's a great putt with the old Rotty. For me, my miss zone here would be a couple of feet long. Then you know that you've given it a bit of a chance and you've got your par putt. Oh, this is a par five, so maybe even you've got your birdie putt there. Not as much break on this as anticipated. You know, I'm going to give it to it. The milling isn't... Go on. Go on. Go on. The milling quite clearly isn't consistent or factory... Well, I don't know what... To be honest... I don't know what's milled that, I think a dog's had a go at it. But it does feel soft, and I think that's down to it being a cheaper metal. I dare say this would break easily. Go again. And I've actually started to get used to this wonky grip a little bit as well, which isn't great. I feel like that's going to hinder me. It's almost like when Pete Cowan puts the putter grip on so you can set the club properly. That's exactly, I think that's the right angle as well, to be fair. That one was really short. This is what I'm starting to see as well. I'm starting to see inconsistencies with how the ball's coming off the face and you don't get that with a proper Scotty Cameron, probably because it's milled at the same depth all the way around. The top line looks absolutely nothing like an actual Scotty Cameron. I've actually given that some there, so that should get there. We've hit one of the balls, not ideal. But that's what happens when you leave them short. And this time, see that was toey and that's come out absolutely fiery find its way through oh we've lipped out so five 40 foot puts there with the wish.com special and one thing that's really kind of not annoyed me but i felt like these were good puts and then it had come off really really fiery so that one's actually hit the pole so if i was playing the game there with the points that would be a point down um yeah not ideal usually if i leave it short you'd take a point off if you hold it, you get two points and you get a point for getting it in that safe zone there. So minus three, one, minus one. So a grand total of minus three points. Right, so we've come to the different side of the green now. It's a similar distance. It's still around 40 feet, maybe just over, but it's a slightly different putt. So I'm trying to make it as fair as possible. Whenever you are testing putters, it is impossible to have a properly fair test unless you go and test them out on 18 holes and then take another one out for 18 holes so you're playing different putts and you keep your percentages we're not going to do that with these because i don't think you guys really care that much we all know that this test is a bit of fun but for people out there who are honestly thinking that you can get a scotty cameron off wish.com for 59 pounds i'm going to draw your attention to the heel of this putter because um because we've spoke milling we've spoke head covers we've spoke paintwork um that is the actual one and that I mean, I don't know what that is, but it's not, it's not great, is it? If we have a look at the paintwork in the backs, a lot of people do like to think that the cherry bombs look fantastic and that denotes the sign of a Scotty Cameron putter. Um, they're coming out already. Uh, yeah, I mean, just different. And whenever I do a test on something from Wish.com, I always get a few comments uh, saying that I'm unfair against it, that I don't trust it, that there is a market for it. And if you're that person, then fine. If you want to go and buy that, then that's fine. But I don't recommend it. Straight away, looking down at this, it feels a lot more premium. It actually feels firmer as well. I can't believe I'm saying it, but the actual fake does feel softer. But that now... So I'm going to show you the first put here with this, because I know I'm getting more and more warmed up to the green all the time. I know that we've been testing putts for a couple of minutes now. 
but the first put with the Scotty Cameron there that I know I can trust and that I've putted with before is exactly where I would want it from that distance, like exactly where I would want it. And the next test we're gonna do is probably as important as long putts, short putts. How many short putts can you hold around a circle? And then I guess we'll do a proper comparison. Nice to have a grip on that's square as well and a shaft that's actually straight. Go on then, go on. Keep going down the hill, a little bit toey that one. Still got down there, not too bad. Oh, this could be good. This could be really good. Break now. Got to be. Oh! It's another one in the circle of friendship, as we'll call it. And you see now what I'm starting to do, because I've played this putt so often, is put autonomously. Now you might think that that's cheating, but realistically, I'll take you down there again. But realistically for me, all I'm doing is allowing the stroke length to tell me how far these puts are gonna go. And I tried to do that with the fake, and we saw how sporadic they were. So this is as scientific as I really want to get with it. We could get it on Capto, we could get it on Chris's putting lab and see exactly how bad it is. Guys, comment below if you'd like to see that. But for now, I really feel like that is point proven. And if anyone wants to call me biased with this, if anyone wants to say that I'm not being fair, I really couldn't care less. So you say exactly what you want to say in those comments. And I've even had breaks between puts here and that's going in, must do. Oh, it's just gone left at the end. So if we talk about points tallies, is the wish.com putter had a score of minus three. And fair enough, we have one that was short there that came out the toe, as I mentioned, so that's minus one. And then we have, um, yeah, four. So it's actually plus three, so six points difference. I'm not saying that's entirely the putter, but from that range, it goes to show how inconsistent that is to come anywhere out of, can I say the milling? The face, can I say face? Right, so you can see now we have an array of five foot putts. These are the putts that you want to make for par. These are the putts that keep your round going. These are the putts why you practice, why you have lessons, and why you play golf in competitions or tournaments. We're gonna go first with, what did we go first with last time? We're gonna switch it up and we're gonna go with the actual Scotty Cameron special, so like the 350 pounder. Then we'll go this. Right, we'll start here, I think. And again, I'm gonna try and make this as fair as possible using fairly similar putts one guys keep a tally because i'll probably forget and i'm going to put them straight back where they were so it is a very fair test and if anything this will be helping the fake putter because i've already hit the putts two all I'm looking for here is that level of consistency that I know I'm gonna get potentially when I buy a putter like this. Just because you buy an expensive putter does not mean they're gonna all go in. That would be nice. A little left to right. -er. Three. Four. Could be on for 100% here, which would be Wonderful, first time for everything. Right, slick downhill right to left uh, for five out of five. Turn, oh, he's missed it. First one we've missed. We'll put that back exactly where it was. There. Now we're gonna go, I mean, to be fair, there's a lot to beat there, isn't there? Line them up the same. And I do hope I get a similar score because it does go to show that to be honest, from this distance, it is more about the stroke. One. I don't know why I'm putting them back, because that's the end of it. You see that? Obviously I've missed that. That didn't feel like a terrible we're golfers, aren't we? We're always going to blame something or someone, but that definitely didn't feel like me. And when you do have a short bending putt, I mean, I prefer the shaft's got more bend than that putt had. Two. Can still tie. Three. 
three. Either way, this is quite a good result for both, I think, but. And that is a tie. So that's four puts out of five with both putters. And again, I'm going to be as honest as I can here. This is. So, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed that. I hope it's been a little bit eye opening. I hope it's not upset too many people, but that's what happens when you do buy what you think is a Scotty Cameron putter off wish.com. It comes in two pieces, it comes bent when you put it together. And, I mean, in fairness, you, as you've seen through the video, they look nothing alike. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed that. Looking at the performance, I'm really pleased with how I've putted with both of those putters. But I'll tell you now, you're not going to get the levels of consistency with the fake one as you are the proper one. Especially when the grip's on sideways and it's probably got an illegal shaft in it. Anyway, apart from that guys, smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Leave us a like and I'll very much look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye! Good riddance.